How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to restore your iPhone um, using one of your uh, iCloud backups. Okay, and in a previous video I showed you how to backup your iPhone to the cloud. And so now I want to show you how to uh, restore your new iPhone to um, your original settings. So for example, um, with iCloud it lets you back up you know your whole phone to the cloud and so when you pick that back up it'll put all the same apps all the same settings contact notes etc it'll put all that back on the phone without you having to reload all those settings and it will actually have it the exact way you had it wallpapers everything so I'm gonna walk you through it I'm gonna show you how cool this is okay so here we go pick the language we're gonna go next United States next Enable location services next. You're going to pick your Wi Fi network that you want to connect to. Um, unfortunately, this iPhone is not connected with a carrier right now. So I'm just using Wi Fi, but it still would be the same way if you did have an iPhone that was connected with a carrier. Almost done with the password, and then we will move on. And there we go. We're going to hit join. We join the network. It will now let us jump to the next section of the video or the setup process. So next it's going to activate the phone and here's what's going to ask you if you want to set up as a new iPhone or restore from iTunes or iCloud. We want to restore from an iCloud backup. Okay, so tap iCloud. Okay. And then we're going to hit next. And so the next step is you have to actually log into your iCloud account and from there it will actually be able to find your last backups so let's go ahead and do that now so I'm going to go ahead and put in my iCloud uh, information this is where you put your login of course have a little trouble keeping the phone steady but it's all good okay and then password gonna need you guys to cover your eyes thank you appreciate it while well, I quickly put this code in To my post, to my posted comment once he was like, "I saw your password," and I was like, "Thanks." All right, so now we're gonna hit next. No, next. Terms and conditions. You're gonna agree and agree. And now it's gonna look for um, your previous backups, and there it is. So. I just backed up the phone uh, about six minutes ago, and so here's the backup right here. My phone, I have it named Right Hand Man, and that one's already checked, so that's perfect. And these are some backups I did on my iPad. You can look for any older ones as well. So we're gonna go ahead and hit Restore, and now it's gonna pull up all the apps again that you had on there. It's gonna uh, sync everything you have in iCloud from your calendar to your notes to your contacts, to your mail, everything you had selected in your iCloud when you set it up, that's what it's gonna pull and put back on the iPhone. And I was so amazed by this, to tell you a quick story, uh, my last iPhone uh, dropped and cracked it, it had insurance, so I was actually able to breed it and swap it out. And so as I was in line waiting for them to do that, I actually went to the settings and I made sure, went to I, so you go to settings, iCloud, and then you go down to storage and backup, and then I hit backup now and let it um, just do a quick backup just to make sure all my stuff was saved. Got the new one signed in and immediately it looked just like my previous iPhone, which was crazy. So the cool thing about it is one, you know, you're not having to sit there and reset it up. Um, like normally you get a new phone and you have to set up everything from scratch. Well, this way all your settings are saved. Everything you have in place is there. So it just cuts down your time. And um, literally once you log in, all it has to do is basically reload the, the apps and you're done and your phone is totally set up. So as you can see, this process can take a little long, you know, anywhere from, you know, five minutes up to 30 minutes or maybe an hour, depending on the strength of your internet connection. So hopefully you're working off a pretty strong signal and uh, we'll jump back as soon as it's done and then we'll show you uh, what it's all about. All right, okay, so the iPhone has officially uh, 
done the full restore and as you can see it's immediately started to sync um, or look for new emails so that's the cool thing is all your email accounts are synced all your passwords are in there you don't have to go in and like re-put the passwords in let me kind of give you a little walk through here so just the first thing you'll see when it pops up um, some stuff is not going to download you have to plug up to iTunes but uh, don't worry about this this is the main one right here Restoring from backup, your iPhone settings have been restored, your purchased apps and media will now be automatically downloaded, so you hit OK. As you can see, you have a bunch of uh, apps and whatnot that are now re-downloading. So make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and, you know, give it a little time. It will take, you know, a little bit of time because there's a lot of apps that have to be reloaded. So obviously it's late, so I get to go to bed and wake up in the morning and all this stuff is going to be the way it needs to be. But, um... Just to show you, if I go to my notes, all my notes are going to be in here from way, way, all 698. Um, if I go to contacts, all my contacts are going to be in there as well, my whole contact book. So, um, oh, sorry, phone number there, all the phone numbers. So that's the cool part. It's just that um, when you back up your iPhone to the cloud, um, it does all the work for you. Okay, so a couple buttons you press, backs it up, and then you get that new phone, new iPhone or whatever. Um, do the backup, restore it, get the new phone, log into iCloud, and that's all you have to do, and the phone will do the rest. So um, that's it in a nutshell. That's how you restore your phone from an iCloud backup. Hope that was helpful. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you saw the video. Subscribe to H2 Tech Videos and uh, keep watching. Have a good one.